In this episode, we're going to take this invasive fish and turn it into this awesome belt. So we're going to take you all the way through the process of selecting the hide. And this is an invasive dragon fin, super cool, by Inversa Leathers. And then we'll go through cutting, designing, getting it all laid out, custom dyeing, uh, hand stitching, and finishing on this belt. It's one of the best tools in a leather shop right here. Now we have our leather stripped out. The other thing you want to look for is making sure that there's no defects in the leather. Sometimes if you get around like the armpit or the leg of a cow, like the leather will kink in a certain spot. But when you look at the backside, the suede side, this came out of a really nice part of the hide. Now we have our inch and a quarter end punch, English style. Now that we have this cut out, we can go ahead and overlay our dragon fin leather on top of it. All right, where's my knife? Yeah, that's a nicer one. Actually, you know what? I like this hide better. We're gonna use this one. The scales on it are so much prettier. You can see it in the light there. And by the way, this is how you can tell it's a fish. This right there, I believe, is the dorsal fin of the fish. So if you take this, bring it down the center, you can kind of see the shape of the fish with the head over here, tail there, you know. If that was any bigger of a fish, we could have got away with this with just two. When we put the buckle on this, sometimes the leather is so thick that you have this really ugly, thick hump. So we're going to thin it on our class 14 splitter here. That way it looks excellent. Now you see it just splits off just a little bit. Now we'll come back with our French skiver and kind of blend in where it goes from thin to thicker. You see how tight of a bend we have. It's 
So Zach has asked me to come in and do what I call tipping on this belt. Right now it's just a straight black, but I want this to have kind of like a bronze top to it. So what we're going to do is tip over the top. All these little scale ridges will be bronze and then the rest of it underneath will be black. There'll be a little couple spots that if the bronze goes down to the bottom, get a little contrast. It's going to be great. So right now I'm going to mix in some of our mica powder to our base barrier to give this dragon fin a little dual tone. It's going to be metallic gold, but I want it to be mild, kind of like a bronze. And I mixed it up here in the shop to just my liking. Somewhat thick, holds the metallic really, really well. So as we do this, you'll see that the tops of those scale ridges just light up. And it turns this cool material, but kind of plain looking, it brings the three-dimensionality into life. Just absolutely lights it up. It's been about 24 hours since we put the gold on this belt. Zoom in here so you can see it. Really turned out super nice. Usually we let things cure before we stitch them. That way nothing on, on the stitching comes off, but you can see how beautiful that is. This is gonna be an awesome belt for Francesca. So we're gonna go on with the next step, which is gonna be hand sewing this entire belt. Don't need paper no more. The first thing I'm gonna do is use my handy dandy compass here, and we're going to sky the little line to know exactly where we need to punch our holes. So I'll go ahead and do that. Six millimeter punches here. It's missing a fork. I definitely dropped it at some point. Let's see how many holes this is. So basically a thousand millimeters long. So that's 2000 millimeters divided by six. So we'll be punching roughly 330 holes. Here's the thread we use. This is our Tiger Ritza thread. It is an amazing braided thread that's pre-waxed. And personally, I think this is the best thread you can buy, especially for hand sewing. And it really is amazing. I had a wallet that I put together when we first started this company. And I purposely cut the stitching on it because I wanted to see, you know, how long will something stay stitched? Well, two years later, not one stitch ever came undone on that wallet. I was really impressed with it.
So I hope you guys enjoyed our video. We're going to keep working on these and pumping out the good stuff for you guys. If you have ideas on what you'd like to see, please submit it in the comments or send us a message because there's all kinds of stuff we want to do. So let us know what you want to see. Also, we have new shirts. So go to our website, check them out. This is our Teton leather, The Roamer Bison. It's pretty great. It's our logo on the top. Obviously, all the color, all the good stuff. So go to our website, tetonleather.com, and grab one.